What's up guys? Josh Grambo here. What are we doing today? We are learning to do 3D to 360. How do you go from Blender, a scene that you create, how do you take that and make it a spherical 360? We're gonna go over it. We're gonna make something like this. The guys over at the Blender Beginner Forum over on Facebook, check it out. So if you wanna learn how to make something like this, export it up to Facebook, impress nobody, yourself, I guess. But that's what's important, impress yourself. If you are an intermediate or you are more advanced and you don't wanna sit through all my explaining of what 360 photography is, you just wanna to get to the bare bones facts of how do you get from Blender to Facebook in a 360 photo, click up here. It'll be the abridged uh, version for all you guys that want to go fast. Uh, meow? Have you ever messed with a 360 camera? You ever played with a 360 camera? And it's essentially, it's two fisheye, just super wide angle lenses on either side. They stitch together in a post. And it's kind of like UV unwrap. When you unwrap the image of the two fisheye stuck together, you essentially end up with a UV unwrap that they call an equirectangular image. So first we got to create our scene. Shift A. Add in a plane, scale it up, no big deal, doesn't matter how big it is. After we add our plane, we're gonna go ahead and shift A again, and we are going to add some text. Tab over into edit mode, backspace, and go ahead and what are we gonna write? You know what the channel's name is. We're gonna go with that Grambo edits, baby. Then we go ahead and we are going to right click and convert to mesh. Now that we've got that, our scene's essentially kind of complete, you know. Uh, we can throw in just just a couple little extras. What else can we throw in there? I suppose, you know, we have to throw on a monkey. And then from there, I have an add-on called Blend Kit. We'll go over Blend Kit in another video. For right now, just know that I am going to go ahead and grab materials from Blend Kit. Let's respect Pantera and let's go ahead and let's do this reinventing the steel sewer grate cover then what we got for Suzanne Suzanne look like a blonde I think Suzanne could be blonde loading 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 then we end up with an almost Jared Leto esque fight club Suzanne I want to destroy something beautiful Uh, good luck seeing your children again, Suzanne. <laughs> Control Z. Don't worry. Should we give Suzanne some eyes? Go ahead and give a second material over here. Throw some black on there. Then I'm going to click a sign and blah blah. Does it look good? No. He looks like a weird monkey polar bear hybrid. And he disgusts me. Since it's loaded, we're just going to throw some red shag carpet on the ground. Give it that 1970s retro feel. We're going to go to the world tab. And then right here where it says color, it's a yellow little button to the left. Go ahead and click on environment texture. If you don't have any HDRIs, go to HDRI Haven. Link down below. Find yourself an HDR that you like. So, where would it be? I like this... Uh, it's like Soviet, it's like Soviet evening. So now to the real meat and potatoes. So now we have our little scene. Whatever your scene is, doesn't matter. I hope it's more beautiful than mine. So for this one, guys, for 3D to 360 photographs or animation, you have to be in cycles for this one. Eevee isn't going to cut it. Because this is just a uh, tutorial, I'm going to crank down the sample count. We're going to go ahead and get our camera set up right dead set in between. So then we will go into camera, switch over to equi rectangular. In 360 photography, it's not like how normal aspect ratios are. It has to be two to one exactly. If you have 1080p as your Y resolution, that means you need to double it and put that up to 2160, 1080p times two. That way we have a two to one aspect ratio and then we can go ahead and render it. Hit that F12 or go up to render image. Hit save, pick where you wanna save it. So now that we have our photo, can we just post it to Facebook? We cannot. Just do it. We cannot. Because there is actually a difference between an equi rectangular photo and a 360 photo, as far as Facebook and other social media platforms are concerned. And that is that there is no metadata. What is metadata?
What is metadata? Hell if I know, but I know it makes 360 work. So what you're going to need to do is go over and download in the description, find the link, and you'll find EXIF Fixer. It's a panoramic photograph metadata injection software. Once you click that link, you'll find a page that looks just like this. Scroll down, yada yada, right here. Got your download for Macintosh. You got your Windows version. I have Windows, so I go ahead and download Windows. Easy as that. Unzip it with your favorite unzipping software, and you're ready to go. Once you've got that downloaded, we will open that up. Now we can open up our EXIF fixer. Open up that. It says choose PNG, but it's a liar. It only accepts JPEGs. Open it up. Opens up the picture. You can see it overlaid on the background. It's as easy as just add metadata right here. It has delete original image. So you'll just find the original image, but just with the data injected inside of it, go ahead and click on add metadata and boom, it's done with that flash. Now the file is now deleted and replaced with the new file. You will see that when you upload to Facebook, you will see that little 360 icon right there indicating that you have successfully made a VR360. There you have it, your HDRI, everything is rendered as if it is one thing. Our floor looks like weird soup. This is terrifying, yet delicious, and kinda out of focus. My name's Josh Grambo. If you like this video, if you found it helpful, if you learned something, I'm a stand-up comedian in Denver, Colorado. What I'm going to ask you is go ahead, at the end of this video, click on one of my other playlists. Check out my stand-up comedy. Go over there and subscribe. Give me a little bit of love. If you found this helpful, go have a laugh. What's the worst going to happen? You're not going to find me funny or educational? Hey, like my wife? No, she's, uh, she's, very, she's a nice lady. So that's it. That's the tutorial. My name's Josh Grambo. This is Grambo Edits. Link's all down below. We'll see you on the Blender forums. You ever have a reverse nightmare? You ever have a reverse nightmare? Where you have an amazing dream and then you wake up to your shitty life? <laughs> Happens to me constantly. What a 360 camera shoot in? Equal, 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 equal rectangular. Equal rectangular.